I have four brush DC motors here, each with a different size fan attached. The motors themselves are identical, though you're going to see some variation in operation due to manufacturing tolerances of the assembly. This setup will help us explore how loads affect a DC motor. So let's look at the resistance of the motor. I'm going to measure the resistance with this multimeter. We see here that our resistance is roughly 70 ohms. I've measured the other motors and they are approximately the same. We can use that value of 70 ohms to calculate the approximate current that's going to flow through the circuit. If we take the voltage, which is 5 volts, and we divide it by the resistance, which is 70 ohms, that gives us approximately 70 milliamps per motor. Let's turn these on and see what they look like. I'm going to use this meter down here to measure the total current in the circuit. This is measuring in amps, and each of these are measuring in amps. So these are individual motor current, and this is the total motor current. Some of these motors need a little bit of a nudge to start. And we see kind of a variation in the numbers. If we average those out, remember we have different manufacturing tolerances, but if we average those out, it's approximately 50 milliamps. So what's with the discrepancy? Part of it's due to when we pass current through a conductor, we produce heat that heat is going to add additional resistance to the circuit. But that doesn't tell the whole story. Let's stop one of these motors. So if I stop that motor, it's no longer spinning. I see I've increased the current significantly. That's due to back EMF, which is a voltage generated by the motor as it spins. And it actually opposes that supply voltage that we are giving it. So the five volts is opposed by the back EMF. When the motor is no longer spinning, I'm no longer generating back EMF and the total supply voltage of five volts is being applied. So we see a high current right here. The faster the motor spins, the stronger the back EMF, which reduces the effective voltage across the motor windings and limits the current. When the motor stops, there's no back EMF, so the full 5 volts is applied across the 70 ohm winding, causing this increase in current. In a coming video, we'll look at an oscilloscope to better visualize this back EMF and how it affects current flow.